oceans of the Earth hold many secrets. Throughout the history of mankind, some stunning, scary, and sometimes simply inexplicable things have accumulated on the ocean floor. Scientists have discovered ancient cities, cemeteries of sculptures, even those abnormal zones where the laws of physics don't work. The mysterious and frightening ocean can not only be a peaceful surface that gives life, but also an enraged devourer of civilizations. Now, we'll try to figure out the most interesting and mysterious discoveries. At first glance, the coast and the water surface off the Canary Islands are unremarkable. But that's only at first glance, because if you plunge underwater, you will see something really amazing. The ocean floor off the Lanzarote Island is strewn with strange statues. Here is a scary crowd of people with empty eyes who are going in an unknown direction. And near it is a ring several feet in diameter consisting of human bodies. What is it? Traces of a sunken civilization? But if you look closely, you'll see cameras and other contemporary devices in the hands of the statues. There's no mystery here. The statues were created as part of the Atlantic Museum project, and anyone can dive underwater and look at them. But it would be fun to see the faces of archaeologists who stumble upon them in a few centuries. Even today, scientists find underwater statues that leave a lot of questions. The mysterious underwater city off the northern coast of Egypt is Tronis, or Heraklion as the Greeks had called it. For a long time, the city was thought to be mythical because it was only mentioned in the chronicles of Greek authors. But suddenly, this discovery was made in 2012 at a depth of 164 feet or 50 meters near Abu Kur Bay. It has been hidden underwater for 1,200 years. Scientists have yet to unveil all of its secrets. Here, under the water surface, mysterious statues of Isis, the goddess, as well as of other deities, rest. Temples, granite columns of a royal palace with Egyptian and Greek inscriptions, sphinxes, fragments of Egyptian ships, gold, and many other amazing artifacts lie at the bottom of the sea. They are preserved almost intact. The underwater archaeologist Frank Gaudio also discovered a 6-foot or 2-meter-sized black granite slab on which the name of the city was carved, Heraklion. But according to the archaeologist, an infinite number of artifacts are still hidden in these waters, and it'll take at least 200 years to study all of them. The reason of the death of Heraklion remains a mystery. Why did it end up at the bottom of the sea? Some scientists blame an earthquake, others a tsunami. The story of Heraklion resembles the legend of Atlantis. Perhaps the latter also existed and is just waiting for someone to discover it. But some historians claim that Atlantis never existed. After all, sailors saw many fantastic things and often embellished their stories. That's how legends started. A good example of this are the glowing patches in the ocean. In Asia, they were called Buddha's wheels, and in Europe, Satan's carousel. In 1879, sailors of the British warship Hawk observed an unusual phenomenon in the Persian Gulf, which the captain made a record of in the logbook. He described two huge circles. They rotated in opposite directions at a speed of about 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour. But the Admiralty did not take Captain Evans' message seriously, and they should have. Subsequently, many ships witnessed similar mysterious spirals in different parts of the world. Sailors describe this phenomenon as one or more revolving circles with an average diameter of 550 yards or 500 meters. Another encounter took place in 1902 in the Gulf of Guinea. The ship's crew noticed two bright circles that went underwater as soon as the ship approached. The sailors recalled that at the moment of approach, the rays seemed to shine through everything around. What was it? Some kind of alien scanners? X-ray radiation? Similar incidents took place several more times. In 1962, British sailors on a ship named Telemachus watched as the circles gradually faded away, slowing down their rotation speed, until they completely disappeared underwater. Scientists have racked their brains over this riddle for a long time, but haven't found any answer yet. According to one of the most reliable theories, this may occur due to an accumulation of luminescent plankton. These microorganisms gather in colossal clusters, and the sailor's imagination does the rest. Other researchers associate the glow with the strange circles at the bottom of the Persian Gulf, the place where eerie luminous spirals were first discovered. Ufologists, in turn, present this story as another proof of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations that observe us from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, speaking of UFOs, the Baltic anomaly is something really worth mentioning. 
mentioning. The story began in 2015 after two Swedish oceanographers, Peter Lindbergh and Dennis Asberg, discovered a strange object in the Baltic Sea. It lay at a depth of 279 feet or 85 meters. Their sonar unexpectedly detected an object of a regular shape almost 200 feet or 61 meters long. The find really looked like the famous spaceship Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movie. The subject sparked interest in the scientific community and experts immediately began to pull up on location. The discoverers themselves offered many explanations for their finds. According to them, it can be a geological object or a secret project of the Third Reich aimed to fight against the English and Soviet submarines or even an alien object. Or is it really a brilliant marketing campaign for the release of a new Star Wars movie? Behind this thing, a long groove is clearly visible, as if from an emergency landing. But here, the weird stuff was just beginning. Scuba divers immediately made attempts to explore the unique object. But in a strange fashion, every expedition had a failure of all equipment when it approached closer than 656 feet or 200 meters. In the same miraculous way, it began working again as soon as they backed up to the same distance. The research of the material was also a puzzle for the scientists. The sample turned out to be a piece of basalt with traces of burnt organics. It seems that the object had been exposed to high temperatures, for example, as if passing through the atmosphere. According to experts, such materials are more likely to be found in construction or in the wreck of a ship rather than in a geological process, but there are more skeptical scientists. Such is Volker Brucher, a professor of geology at the University of Stockholm. He considers the find to be a trace of an ancient glacier's activity. Anyway, it's unlikely that we'll find out the truth anytime soon, if ever at all. Shortly after the start of research, the project was suspended, allegedly due to a lack of funding. Maybe the world government became interested in the object and wanted to quickly hide the truth. Another mysterious underwater find is the megaliths off the island of Yanaguni. The island is located in splendid isolation at a distance of 77 miles or 125 kilometers from the rest of the islands, and closes the Ryukyu archipelago. In 1985, scuba divers, led by diving instructor Kihatiru Aritake, were diving near the southern border of the island when they saw something incredible. The megalith was a series of ancient formations of regular shapes. It looked like an ancient city. A study of the soil nearby showed that it may be more than 20 million years old. It seems that this ancient city has gathered all the hallmarks of ancient cultures from around the world. The construction in the center resembled a stepped pyramid of Maya or ancient Sumer. Near it was a unique stone form formation 140 feet or 42.5 meters high. The most amazing thing is that all structures featured complex elements. There were stairs, walls, and straight lines. Around the perimeter of the monolith, a great number of pyramids were found, 33 feet or 10 meters in height and 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters in width. The find was named after the place of discovery, the Yanaguni Monument. The scientific community made a fuss around this discovery, and the years of research had begun. As it always is in the scientific field, experts immediately assumed two opposing positions. Some considered the monument to be a man-made object, others a geological one. In 1992, a group under the leadership of Professor Masaki Kimura from the University of Okinawa began many years of diving activity followed by research. He collected information over a period of 15 years and eventually declared the mysterious underwater object was human-made. He told that his team discovered many carvings of plants, animals, and even people. In addition, remnants of an infrastructure such as wells and mines were discovered in the megalith. All this data indicates that the civilization that dwelled there was quite developed. There's just one thing. How did such a developed settlement appear among 20 million years old strata? Maybe it was an alien outpost which was soon submerged. And the next underwater discovery is just shocking. Many people have heard about the Bermuda Triangle, but only a few know about the Devil Sea. Such a frightening name was given to a large anomalous zone located off the coast of Japan. This place is even more sinister than the well-known Bermuda Triangle. According to the inhabitants of the local islands, inexplicable things happen here. Ships, planes, and people disappear. The Japanese that dwelled on the islands nearby believed that there was a beautiful underwater city located in this area. As legends have it, there were demons living in that underwater city guarded by predatory fish. They say that sea storms often occurred on a fine day, the water turned mysterious colors, and even domes appeared on its surface. Chronicles of that time have been preserved, which tell us that a dragon that devoured sailors lived in these waters. So is it real or fiction? Studies say otherwise.
Neither fish nor sea animals can be found in this area. Even giant whales are disgusted to swim here, and the albatrosses have no desire to fly over it. Why it is so, no one can explain. These days, you can hear many different theories, from the portal to another dimension to the underwater UFO airfield down on the ocean floor. But despite the fact that all these legends are unconfirmed, the Japanese government still recommended to stay clear of this region. The disappearance of small fishing boats in the Devil's Sea has been known for a long time, but no one ever really thought of the reason. After all, cane boats are rather unstable, and storms happen quite often there. Everything changed when, in 1955, there was a series of disappearances, and not just of fishing boats, but modern cargo ships planes, and even a highly equipped destroyer. The military ship, equipped with a radar able to sense the slightest movement within a radius of 125 miles or 200 kilometers, disappeared in the endless waters of the Devil's Sea just like that. After these incidents, the government took a number of measures, but still, ships and aircrafts disappeared in this region every year. But don't think that these unusual finds and phenomena are all the world's oceans got to show. It still has something to hide. Next time on vacation, dangling your feet in the sea, think about it. Maybe the remains of an ancient civilization or a UFO are a couple of feet away. And here, we have to say goodbye. If we were able to surprise and interest you, don't be stingy. Click on that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the many interesting videos that are coming.